What's up guys, my name is Gary and you're watching Gary Mason Travels. Welcome to another episode guys and today I'll be talking to you about how to plan your dream trip to India in five easy steps. Now it really is that easy guys and you can use this method no matter where in the world it is that you decide to travel. So do watch this video until the end to really make sure that you understand what it is that I have to say. And remember, if you do like my content, show some support, smash that like button and press subscribe so that I can keep doing this into the future. Now with that said, before we get started, I wanna take a look at why you wanna be going to India in the beginning. India. When we close our eyes and envision what that might be like, our minds could well drift off to the land of Maharajas and grand palaces. Or to a land of sumptuous cuisine laced with exotic spices. Perhaps to the lush tiger-filled jungles that could be straight out of a Rudyard Kipling novel. None of that is far from reality, but in truth, India is so much more. No matter what your reason, India has you covered. Be it hiking in the pristine wilderness or cleansing your chakras along the banks of the sacred river Ganges, you can find it all here in incredible India. So what are you waiting for? So I hope you enjoyed my video. Without further ado, we're going to jump straight in and see exactly what are those five steps so we can get you travelling like a pro today. Step number one is oddly the second most important and that is how long can you dedicate to your trip? Now, only you can answer this and there are two contributing factors. One of them is literally how long can you dedicate away from work? And as romantic as an ideal it is that we all just take a year off and live out of a bag and live simply. Many of us, we cannot do that. We've got mortgages, we've got children, you've got commitments to work. You've got a, a hamster that you really can't stay away from. I have no idea what's going on inside of your life. You're the only person that can answer that. So it's a very personal question. The second point is how much money can you budget towards your trip? Now this video isn't about that. I'm gonna do a whole series on that because that's a very significant subject and will greatly dictate the quality of your experience. And I do implore you, do not try and cram too much into your itinerary. So think seriously about how much money can you contribute towards your daily spend. For an idea of that, you can check out my blog of what your money will realistically buy you and I will link, leave that link in the description below. I will get onto a, a vlog to cover that subject in the near future. Here's step number two, where do you wanna go? And I know you're thinking, how is this a plan for build anything? But I'm telling you that this is the most difficult part. The first two steps, where do you wanna go and how long can you spare? That's the difficult bit. The rest of it, no matter how long your journey is, is child's play. And I suggest that you put a lot of thought into the answer to this question because you have saved a lot of money and you're dedicating a lot of time to this. So you want the maximum value. And that is why this is the most important step. If you need inspiration on what appeals to you, I have a whole website. That's at www.garymasontravels.com and there is also lots more 
sources of information out there for you to check over. You've got the Lonely Planet, Umpteen Blogs, whatever. But the key to enjoying your trip and getting the most out of your time is to invest your time and money into what you really want to see. Because India is a whole subcontinent and you can't see it all, no matter how hard you try. I've been traveling there for almost half a decade and I feel like I have not seen anything. So think, where do you want to go? And then from there, once you've built that plan, everything else just falls into place. Now here's step three, book your flights. Now you're starting to do things that look like you're planning a trip. But the first two steps is the most important because that is your foundation on which to build from. You need a coherent plan to know what way you're flying, yeah? And so when you are gonna go, remember that if you fly to the larger cities such as Chennai, Delhi, Calcutta, or Mumbai, that will be infinitesimally cheaper than a lot of the other destinations across the subcontinent. And shop around, shop around for the best possible deals because flights really fluctuate. I myself like Skyscanners. I used to use SDA Travel, but we all know because of COVID, it is no more. Uh, India has many of its own domestic comparison sites like Yatra, Clear Trip, Make My Trip. Utilize them, have a look around, and remember the bigger cities, they will save you money. Now you are on your way to making your dream trip a reality. Step number four, book your visa. Now you don't do that the other way around. You book your visa after your flight because the visa starts from the day that you receive it. Particularly if you're on a longer trip, that's quite a sizable handicap. So I strongly suggest you organize your flights first. If your travel is just for a couple of months, India has a visa on arrival scheme. I've never used it myself, but it is there. The queues always look really long. For me personally, I always have my visa before I land to, dis to make sure everything is in order, but that's a personal choice again. But that's what you do after you book the flights. Step number five, go shopping. Now, many of you will think this is a lot of fun. I personally am not a fan of shopping, but you don't do this until you've got all your ducks in a line and you know exactly where you're gonna go. Uh, do you need cold weather equipment? Are you going to need a bikini? Do you want a snorkel? You won't know this until you know the answer to the rest of those steps. So that is why that is last. However, big purchases such as a camera, that gets done in advance. Because if you save the bigger things to, so they all come at once, then that is going to be a really big bill. A camera is a camera. But things like medicines and clothes and things like that, really save them till the last minute. Then you know what's gonna happen. And don't forget, you can buy a lot of the things that you need from India. Now, that's it. I told you, that was that's really it. That is the five steps of how to make your dream trip happen as uncomplicated as possible. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and uh, I'm creating a whole channel for those people who would rather watch something than read something. And once again, if you did enjoy this content, then please smash that like and subscribe. And I will keep doing this. Uh, if there's anything that I've missed or anything that you wanna know, then you just leave your questions or comments in the section below. With that said, I shall see you next time. Take care, guys.